I don't know if you guys realize this, but have you noticed there's been a lot of scams going on in the VTubing scene? All the time. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's weird how often we're seeing it? Because I know art scams have always been kind of like a thing, especially with streamers with like the, the robots like, hey, I can make your logo or whatever. But don't you think it's kind of weird that in VTubing, it happens daily? Yeah. Well, what about, <laughs> what about when people uh not just scam other people, but they straight up just steal someone else's IP. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I know exactly where this is going. So, yeah, I saw, I, saw, I saw a little bit of this. Yeah, this, this is, was um, wild to me. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm not going to name any names. I'll just kind of like talk about this in a general sense. Um, there was... I will. His name's Mike. Is that really his name? <laughs> no, oh. it's, it's, a, it's a reference. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, there was, okay, basically there was somebody who's very new to like VTubing and this is something that I see happen all the time is like newcomers come in who want to get into VTubing and they don't really understand like how VTuber IPs work or how art IP works or just mm. copyright or just, you know, straight up taking things without permission. There was somebody who had legitimately commissioned another artist saying that this was like their model and this is like the model that they want and they announced their new brand new live 2D model and it turned <laughs> out that they stole the design from an another artist that like it was an original OC that they just took and was like yeah this is mine now I want to be this VTuber turn this into a VTuber for me and then <laughs> um people people like I, I just I cannot believe that so many artists got together to get this account taken down this account's no longer existed but basically they stole another artist's oc made it into a vtuber and then got canceled and it's interesting because there was a huge debate about like not crediting the original artist or even reaching out yeah. to the artist to ask for permission to turn their art into a vtuber model i know we have things like what we got like a sonic vtuber we got a t tony the tiger we got we got like actual ips right but this yes, is a little bit but, different yeah, yeah. those are run by those ip holders exactly exactly yeah. which is why those exist this was not the case and it's just interesting because i've noticed it's common that a lot of new people who just don't understand how vtubing or the culture behind this like you can't just take someone else's yeah. oc and not expect to get caught no exactly i don't know why and nave i don't know if you find this as well i don't know mm -hmm. why it's vtubing specifically that seems to be like i have no concept of what copyright is i don't give a f what an yeah. nda is like i don't care about any of that like it's it's so weird the amount of like because like i've seen other streamers and content creators be like y'all are wild like, yeah so <laughs> it's I, I, I strange think, to be fair um gosh, I, I i guess it's because like when you know the whole idea of content creation even like started and began everybody that had like jumped into it at that time it's mm -hmm. got to slowly like ease in right because like there were a lot of laws and stuff like being regulated back yeah. then now we don't really hear about that stuff because everybody can sort of kind of figure it out then vtubers i think um for them they're like i just want to have fun they don't realize that the fun comes with a lot of like expectations that um you know i, I guess a lot of legal issues that you should you know expect <laughs> the, yeah and you're you know supposed to take care of that on your own you know what's it's crazy? Nice. I remember like four years ago when I first started getting into like art and stuff for VTubing. I remember I had somebody who was willing to pay me money to make them a live 2D model of a Genshin Impact character. And I like told them straight up, I'm like, not only will you get sued, but I would get sued. Yeah. No, I am not doing that for you. No. And they got mad. They're like, I don't understand what the big issue is. I'm like, do you not understand the copyright on that? Mihoyo will literally take us down and everything. Like they don't mess around. You can't do that. You, you just can't. Yeah, like I remember that era heavy of VTubing like in the beginning where people were like, I want to VTube as Hatsune Miku and they like ripped <laughs> the the 3d models like out of project diva and like streamed as it and i'm like i'm surprised sega doesn't sue you out of a like into oblivion dude oh yeah. my god or like people who are like i'm gonna stream as literally a pikachu i'm a pikachu that is my branding right like <laughs> even even people who i like adore right have have done that where they like started off as like another person's ip and i'm like no don't it's, do that it, this is where it gets messy yeah. though because if you're not making money and it's like fan made then it's it's weird because like it's a nebulous place it is it is because yeah. at the end of the day some companies take their ips really seriously and an artist is no different right just because yeah. like an artist is in a company doesn't mean you can just take their OC. And this yeah. is where it gets a little 
mm-hmm. weird because I see a lot of VTubers who will like heavily inspire from like other VTuber designs and I see that getting into a lot of controversy as well because there there is yes. a line though right there is a line between like sharing the same color palette or having the same style of bangs because yes I've seen VTubers lose their mind over something like that versus straight up just stealing someone's OC. I've seen situations where people claimed that having stars in their hair was like, like that, you ripped me off because of that. Like I'm like, that's, it, it's, it's wild. Like the way people will like claim these little things that are innocuous as like their own thing. Mm-hmm. Right? I, it's yeah. very goofy. I will say, I think the, the thing that makes the original situation that we were talking about worse is that first of all, I don't remember chat. Do we know what language? the Japanese. artist speaks Japanese so not even the same language at all right and so there's already a, like a language barrier there <laughs> the the artist literally shared that they were willing to work with this person and be like hey like can you just like maybe change this thing about it or like can you maybe like do like they were willing to like play ball with this VTuber and as they're trying to explain to people what happened so it's like this super sucks but thankfully people were like oh okay like because you know the modern internet that has like you know like google translate twitter no, exactly. translates tweets for you right so it's a little little bit easier but but the vtuber like doubled down instead of just being like oh i am so sorry yeah absolutely let me change that the vtuber like doubled down and acted like a twat and then they deactivated yep and they tried so, to like raise money and the, yeah. it's the fact that they didn't even bother crediting and either oof. like this is the thing that i guess gets under my skin it's the fact that this artist was japanese and this person thought oh because they're japanese no one will find out because clearly like they don't speak the same language and you have to understand how the internet works VTubing no. <laughs> is heavily tied into japanese culture literally yeah i was gonna say like that'd be like saying like i sold my idea for an anime series from this japanese anime series no one will yeah. ever be able to tell it's like dude you are very aware right that like this scene is so heavily connected to japan it's so weird it's okay to inspire people have like inspired my designs in the past and like that's fine it's also okay to like reference other materials too however always make sure you are crediting people like listen if you're gonna be referencing something from somebody else just give them credit it it's not really that hard to do it takes two seconds and you're less likely to get sh- on because let's be honest here for anyone who's new to the vtubing scene and you want to get into this be aware that there are people who will meticulously pick apart your art just to yep. see if you traced it or heavily reference it anywhere else. They will literally yep. search endlessly every yep. single yep. time you post a photo of your model online just to see if it matches someone else. Yeah. Also, I, I'll say I'll say this. Um, I would never, ever, ever take any inspiration from any source ever. You guys like Lord of the Rings? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay to take inspiration from other things. Just make sure you credit stuff properly. That's what I mean. Because well, when people are like, is your name a reference to? Yes. <laughs> yes. It is the name that Frodo uses when he's going incognitus. Mm-hmm. That's where it's from. Yeah. So I, I kind of want to add on to my story, if that's okay. Absolutely. Go for it. Yeah. Because there's something else that had happened that's a very similar vein of this. <laughs> so you know how yeah. I said like this is, was like a very bad thing. What about if someone copies like a pose a pose a po- yeah i feel like every vtuber has its typical a pose right so like you can't really okay. copy poses so something else happened last night that i woke up to this morning that's oh no <laughs> oh god i haven't heard about this so i, I haven't heard about this, this. i haven't there was an emote where this emote is um it's the it's a very lewd emote where you're looking down on someone and your massive booba is like up in your face. So that's a pose. And there was a big okay. artist who had called out another artist for making a your character here thing, which uh, has a similar pose. Two different art styles, and the poses are actually slightly different too. But the fact is that this big artist called out the smaller artist, and it did not go well for the bigger artist because you cannot own a pose because that pose is actually a meme from early 2000s. Is it? It is actually, yes, it is. I found the original source of where it came from. You went to the source, you dove deep into the sauce. Nope, I just had to look at Twitter. Someone posted it Oh, okay, for me. fair enough. <laughs> Never mind. Here, I'll actually show you guys so you know exactly what meme it is that I'm talking about. It's- you don't have to ask me twice to stare at Booba. <laughs> don't worry, Mari. Oh, oh this? Yes. That, no, that's such oh. a common, that's yeah, it's like- actually very common. 
Yes. That's a very common meme. I was very disappointed because I followed this artist for a long time and I was like, are you really upset over like, like pose? And it, it's it's really weird because the, the whole VTubing stealing the OC thing, that's one thing, but you don't own a pose. And like, it's weird because this artist apparently the big artist that called out the small artist was caught tracing old emotes oh, and someone dug shit. that up oh shit that's crazy. And the way I see it is, guys, if your commissions are closed and people want to commission that artwork, they'll just find another artist who will do it for them. Like, that is well, true. especially for your character here stuff. I find yeah. like most artists are pretty chill with your character here because they're usually referencing memes. I don't know if you guys remember, but a long time ago, uh, there was actually some drama with Fortnite in sort of a similar vein where, um, you know, that like default Fortnite dance? Yeah. Like that Fortnite dance is a one like is a almost like beat for beat of um a dance that donald Faison does in scrubs turks so the show dance. turks dance yes but yeah fortnite they also uh didn't they also do the carlton dance they did yeah. so there was a time where they were taking dances from popular media yeah with zero credit like not calling them the carlton dancers calling it something else no credit and then just like putting it in the game yep and if you're a big fan of uh fortnite currently you'll know that most of the item shop is references to tiktok dances yep, yep. right oh no i mean riot's been doing it a lot longer than that with league yeah. of legends yeah. a lot of the dances have been from popular media since the dawn of the game yep yeah well i, I remember that donald Faison and a lot of these actors they were right because they were like we did that like that's our thing and there was no credit given to me that had a bit more weight to it than this does because yeah. at least with that like they invented that dance it then became a meme and they referenced the meme whereas this is like they didn't create the original meme but they're doing a art of it and saying yeah. that it's still theirs because they're doing art like it just doesn't that that's it doesn't make sense that yeah, yeah that's not i feel like if yeah. you have enough time to complain about it on twitter you have enough time to work on your art commissions so focus on your art commissions there's no there's enough money to go around like again this stuff happens yeah. all the time it's goofy goober behaviors it really is yes yes yes